Hello, hello, and welcome. Uh, this is a guide on how to install Japanese mobile games. The biggest issue that I've seen you guys commenting on the YouTube is this app isn't available in my country. Well, if it's a Japanese game, it's generally only available in Japan. Just like the English app store, there are some apps that are only available to that app store. It means you're not doing something wrong, it's just not there for you to find. Some app stores change depending on what country they're registered in. Now, this is a guide more for Apple users for two reasons. First of all, it's a whole lot easier to do on Android. Honestly, I think there's like two whole steps. Um, second of all, I don't actually own any Android products, so... I might not be able to help with any questions, and I might not get this correct. So, to the best of my knowledge, and using a ton of different guides that I have found, we're starting off with the Android portion of this, just because I have a lot less information for it, and very honestly, it is a whole lot easier. First and foremost, if you are using an emulator for an Android, such as Nox or Bluestacks, you're going to be able to do this the same exact way. It downloads just the same for you, so it's not going to be any more difficult for you. Again, I might be kind of wrong on this, so do feel free to leave any questions or comments just so I can look through them. I can try and do as much research as possible, but I still might not come up with anything. So first and foremost, you're going to want to go to Ku app. I might be saying that wrong. We'll find out. Um, it's a website that basically stores APKs for Android. You can go to the website and search just about any game. I have found Twisted Wonderland, Shino Alice, and quite a few different games on here. Now, if you emulate on your computer and you just want a second account on it, that's fine as well. Or if you do have an Android tablet or phone, you can download the Ku app APK only once. I do not think that you can have multiple of the same app on the same device. After that, it's done. That's all you have to do. Go to a website and download your game. Really not all that hard. If you like to rip sprites like I do, you can download an APK to your Windows computer. It's not going to hurt it. Ku app is a site that I trust. I have downloaded quite a few games from it just to sprite rip. So, don't worry about your devices. It is a site that I trust. Now, the final judgment is going to have to be up to you on to what you trust for your device. That's all of the Android steps. Getting into the Apple portion of this, this is something that I've found that guides usually have 15,000 million steps to. Not all that easy. We're going to try and make it as absolutely easy as I can. So, you're going to want to go to the website I have linked down in the description, the Apple ID sign-in page. We're going to have to do this a little bit more difficult than just downloading an app off the internet. You're going to have to completely make a whole new account in a different country. So go ahead and go to the Apple ID, and we are going to make a new ID. You can put any first and last name, but we want this to say Japan. And if you give it a second, it's going to load. Now that you've created your account on the web, you are going to have to log in with that ID into the App Store. And it is going to set you up 
a complete your Apple ID. To complete your Apple ID, it is going to bring you to the next page for payment, billing, and billing address. Now the name on here that you put doesn't really matter, but your payment and address will. You can hit none for your payment type, if that's what you would like, and then scroll down to the bottom where it says billing address. Now we'll have these Japanese names in the description for you, but the street address that you can enter is Kitakokita 13 Yo. Now that's spelled K I T A K U K I T A, the number 13 J O U, when you're typing on a Japanese keyboard. It'll fill the rest out for you. The second line on there is Nishi 8 Chome, which is going to be N I S H I, the number 8. C-H-O-U-M-E when you're typing on a Japanese keyboard. Again, if you press the spacebar, it'll fill everything out for you. The city that you are going to put in there is Sapporo. S-A-P-P-O-R-O. The prefecture is actually a drop-down tab, and you can go ahead and select Hokkaido. The postal zip code is 0608628, and the phone number is 011-7612-111. Once you've got that done, it'll tell you that you're verified and now you have a Japanese iTunes account. That's basically all there is to it. If you have any questions on the Apple portion of it, you are welcome to comment it. I should have an answer to it for you. Now that you have a Japanese iTunes account, you can go into the iTunes store and download whatever games you would like. Down below in the description, we will have a link for Shino Alice and Twisted Wonderland.